Hello, YouTube. It's a little cold down here in South Florida. So, you know, the boots is coming out. The jackets is coming out. The coats. It's too bad I'm inside. But, you know, it just kind of, like, gives me character. Like, I feel like a boss bitch when I wear this. So, I'm going to keep it on. And you'll get a little bit more about me. Hello, ladies, and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Jessie. You can find me on Instagram at Jessie Milani. And today, I want you to grab a glass of wine and drink some with me. Right now, I'm having pink Moscato from Sutter Home. Sutter Home, Sutter Home, not sure how you pronounce that. I'm going to give you a moment to go and grab that glass and pour you a nice little cup of some wine. Cheers to being a woman being strong and being powerful and taking my advice taking my wisdom and putting applying it to your life to become the best version of yourself while y'all help me do the same because this is like therapy so cheers <laughs> okay what are we gonna talk about today last video i talked about what you guys are going to be expecting from me and my channel so if you haven't seen it already make sure you go ahead and check that out i didn't really do anything to prep myself for this video i'm kind of just going off of my own energy and my own vibe and my own thoughts right now um let's talk about leveling up if you have something that you love doing go after it the end of november damn near December, the New Year's coming, you know, let's forget New Year's resolutions. Start now. Start your goals now. Start what it is that you want to do now. And I understand you may be watching this and you're like, oh, but Jesse, you know, this, and oh, but Jesse, this. If you wait until you're ready, you're never gonna be ready. When are we ever ready for anything? You know, the things that are good that come into our lives usually happen out of nowhere without expecting it. On the coffee table is this book called Simple Abundance. It's a great book to keep you on track and to just motivate you every day to be aligned with yourself and to do what it is that you're supposed to do. Why is it that we can't pick up a book every day for just like five minutes of our time, 10 minutes of our time? Every day there is a new passage for you to read. As you can see, it's super short. So it just goes here and it's here. That's it, you close your book, you leave your little bookmark here and you close it and you wait until tomorrow to read it again. That, where am I going with this? When you're leveling up, you have to reconsider people that you have around you are they benefiting you in any way are they making me feel good about myself are they motivating me to do what i need to do and what i love to do are they supporting me are they make checking up on me and making sure that i'm okay and that i'm doing well and of course i'm not saying have these clingy clingy friends who are just up your ass all the time I like to have people around me that feed my soul, make me laugh, that are there for me and that support me and push me to do what I need to do and stay on the right track. When you level up, you also have to ask yourself this. How are you going to get from here to here? What is it that you want to do for yourself? What do you want to happen in your life right now? In a happy world, how would things go for you right now? And when you ask yourself that or when you ask somebody that, it's kind of letting them use their wildest dream. You just kind of get the truth out from your heart and your mind. Another thing you have to ask yourself is, am I taking care of myself? Am I eating right? No. Am I exercising? No. <laughs> but I do make time for myself for sure when I say are you making time for yourself are you sitting down and reflecting on, you, on your day are you ex letting out all the negative energy from inside of you by writing taking a hot shower meditating reading if you're not doing those things you're not recycling that energy that needs to be recycled good energy in bad energy out when you take time for yourself and you could just relax and have some wine and kind of let the day just be released from you that's effective let's recap everything that i just said about leveling up it's going to take a lot of reflecting 
Now look at the people that you have around you. Ask yourself, what are they doing for me? Are they serving me? Are they benefiting me in any way? And that doesn't mean buying you things and paying for things. That means mentally, spiritually, emotionally. Are you making time for yourself? Are you doing what you need to be doing? Are you making yourself feel good? Are you recycling your energy and reflecting on your day and your relationships? If you thought to yourself no to any of those things, it's not too late to work on that and change because we are leveling up. We are getting a jump start to our new year right here, right now. Not tomorrow, not next week, not when we're ready, not when we have this, when we have that. We're talking right now, today, in this moment. So with leveling up, you can't beat yourself up, right? and say damn all this time i could have been doing this and i could have been doing that and why am i so this and why am i so that and this is going to be hard for me no this is going to be easy for you what you have to do right now is accept where you're at right in this moment as you're watching this wherever you are in your life in your home accept where it is that you are be happy be grateful feel blessed and feel that good energy just radiate from me to you tell yourself i am where i need to be right here right now in this moment god has a plan for everybody the universe has a plan for everybody what is for you is for you and is already out there just waiting for you to arrive waiting for you to be present so you have to just be be present with yourself. You can't change anything about the past. We don't have time to be sulking and feeling down about ourselves and beating ourselves up. We need to level up. What you've already done is done. What you've already said is said. So let it go. Let it be. Live with no regrets and just accept it. Give yourself a moment to just be in the moment. We get so caught up with the internet and with work and with things that are on our mind that we don't just and be present. So give yourself that moment. I'm going to take another sip of my wine. All right. I hope I have your mind kind of going a little bit and thinking about things because you need to. It's good for you. It's healthy to reflect. Your thoughts create your reality. Your mind is the most powerful thing that you have. So with that being said, feed your mind positive things positive things will happen feed your mind negative things negative things will happen well we all have somewhere to be we're all trying to get somewhere right? if there's anything that i learned this year is that it's great to be uncomfortable it's great to be unsure of what's next or where it is that your life is taking you that means that you're growing if you're too comfortable right now then you need to make a change you need to let something happen because that's not enough you need to do more for yourself to feed your soul and to make yourself feel good about what it is that you're doing and be more confident in where you're going. Now it's time to let things go and create new experiences and create new good positive thoughts. I've been thinking so many negative things that does that mean that all these negative things are going to happen and I don't want that to, I'm scared. If you've been telling yourself negative things day after day, month after month, year after year, that's okay. It's not too late to change that either. One negative thought can be replaced with three positive thoughts. For example, nothing is going well for me. Let's replace that immediately because we don't want that to happen as your thoughts create your experiences. Life works for me in my highest favor. I am exactly where I need to be. I trust in divine timing and God's plan. And that's it. You just change the direction of where you're taking your life. You keep telling yourself these negative things. That's exactly where your life is going to take you. That's what you're feeding to the universe. You want to take that energy and manifest it into something positive. Manifest. That's where I'm going next. Now we need to manifest what it is that we want to do in our lives in order to level up. You know, we want to make more money. We want to have this. We want to have that. We want to meet this person. We want to collaborate with that person. We want to work for this company and so on. So now let's get you a composition book 
which is a composition journal it costs a dollar at the dollar store i like those journals the best because it gives you so much uh, space to write versus like the really cute ones that they have at marshall's or tj maxx which i do buy and use but i can't um, elaborate so much on just one page I'm constantly using like seven pages where I could just use maybe three on a composition journal so I encourage you to get you a journal and to write out your goals that are short-term what it is that you want to accomplish for December um, what it is that you want to accomplish each week what it is that you want to accomplish each day and I will encourage you to create a long-term goal, long-term goals, what you want for yourself for the year, and long-term goals that you want for yourself, you know, just overall, always. And that is so effective. You're putting that from pen to paper. When I write my goals, I like to write it in present tense. Um, I accomplished blank. I accomplished making a million dollars for the year. I accomplished making a hundred thousand dollars for the year because not only are you writing your goals but you're manifesting at the same time you're giving the universe that energy that I already did this and that it's already in my future maybe not right I want to sell a hundred thousand copies of my new book maybe right I sold over a hundred thousand copies of my book by December 2019 or by April of 2019 you get it um, manifesting and writing goals so effective for leveling up okay um, on another page, I would highly encourage you to write all of the negative things that you've ever said to yourself, that you've ever thought about yourself, because those are called limiting beliefs. Sorry. And limiting beliefs is what holds us back. It derives from fear. Did you know that fear and love are two feelings that we cannot feel at the same time? Write out all of your fears, write out any limiting beliefs that you have for yourself. And on the next page, turn all of those statements into something the complete opposite. So, like I said, um, people don't like me, people don't appreciate my work, people don't value my work. Instead, on the next page, right, people value my work. People appreciate me and my time. I remember one time when I had the Good American Casting call, which is Khloe Kardashian's clothing line, and Emma agreed. And I remember before my number was called, I went into the bathroom and I did some affirmations. These affirmations are positive words or phrases that you say to believe and put out to the universe to manifest it in hopes that well, not in hopes, knowing that it's going to ha happen for you because your thoughts create your reality. You understand? I know I might be jambling up my words a little bit. Uh, one of my brain is just going fast. My thoughts are going faster than how I can speak. That's the same thing when I write. So please don't mind me. I may be cutting it a lot, but that's because I'm not trying to let you guys hear, you know, airtime or um, 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 <laughs> or I just messed up on what I was trying to say. Anyways. I went to the bathroom and I told myself in the mirror and I said it out loud. I said, people feel my good energy. And when my number was called and I went back and I was talking to Emma and I, I was explaining to her and Denise Badeau that um, I do affirmations and that I believe that's why I'm here like in her little British action accent She's so cute. She's like, yeah, I really feel your good energy and I can't really do it because I'm not Emma But that was really horrible um, But she was so cute when she said it and immediately I was just like wow Life really is what you make it your thoughts really do create what your reality is quick review on what I was just saying get yourself a composition book I know there are some really cute books out there but this isn't to be cute and to just you know carry in your purse because it's cute this is to really release all of your thoughts and to write down your affirmations your goals and manifest what it is that you want in order to level up right so write down everything negative that you think of yourself all of your fears and turn those sentences into something into the complete opposite your thoughts replace one negative thought 
with three positive thoughts when we could do the complete opposite and feed ourselves nothing but positivity goodness and everything that we do deserve is going to come to us once we believe that in the core once we know it's gonna happen you can manifest all you want but at the same time you have to put in the work you can sit here and say I'm gonna write, um, my book is selling 100,000 copies. Well, what are you doing to sell 100,000 copies? Well, you have to put in the work in order to level up. Not only do you put the work in here, but you have to put the work in here, in reality, in the universe, in real life. You're gonna get there. You're going to have everything that you want, everything that you dream of if you just take what I said into consideration and apply it to your life. Think about the people that you have around you. What are they doing for you? Are they holding you back? Are they benefiting you? Are they really your friends? Do they want the best for you? Are they supporting you and encouraging you? What are you doing to yourself? What are you feeding your brain? What are you feeding your body? I am not one to talk but I'm trying to help you because I'm so damn good at giving advice and it's a little bit hard to take your own advice at times and that's okay. It's not what this is about anyways. Um, what are you doing for yourself? Are you making time for yourself? Are you writing down things? Are you reflecting on your life? Are you releasing the energy that needs to be released and bringing in good positive energy? Are you being nice to yourself? Are you having compassion for yourself? Once you do all of those things, you're going to come back and say, thank you, Jesse. I needed that. And I'm going to be so happy because I'm going to see you get everything it is that you want. And it's all going to come from you believing in yourself. All you need is for you to believe in you and to do what it is that you're supposed to do and to be present in order to get what it is that you want. And watch how life just starts giving you opportunities. Oh, here you go. And here, here, oh, that door, it's open. You gotta close that one before you open this one though. Here, here, opportunity, opportunity, opportunity. It's all going to happen for you as long as here is healthy and well, but it's mind, body, and soul. So once all three of those things are doing well, then your life is just going to be everything you ever dreamed of. And I promise you that. It's not always easy staying on track and being consistent and sticking to those things. You just have to remind yourself what it is that you're doing and where it is that you wanna go because only you can hold yourself back. You're constantly making decisions. Sometimes you need to say no. No, I cannot hang out. No, I cannot go here. No, I cannot take you there. Sometimes you need to just step back and just focus on you and what it is that you need to do. I know that helped you in some way. I can talk until I'm blue in the face, but you have to be ready to make a change, to be the change, to grow as a person, to love who you are, accept where you are right now in order to level up. And when you're, once you're ready, take your time, be patient with yourself, don't beat yourself up. That's not what you do when you're trying to level up. You gotta have compassion for yourself and remind yourself that you're human and shit happens. And there's days where you may feel down about yourself, damn depressed, anxious, whatever, and that's okay. That is why it's called a journey. They're, it's your journey, you know? Be easy on yourself. I know sometimes I can be tough on myself, mean to myself, and I can be very inconsistent, but it just takes getting right back into the circle of things. Once you're aware of what it is that you need to do, then you're fine. You know, you're gonna have your times where you're stubborn and you don't feel like writing in your journal and you don't feel like reflecting and writing your goals, but that's okay. It's your life. You're going to always do what it is that you want to do. So with all of that being said, reflect, 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 get yourself your composition book and start now. Get a jump start to your New Year's resolutions and so on and so forth. 
right now right here today or whenever you're ready thank you so much for watching this and there's so much more coming up i hope to give you guys a video at least once a week maybe twice a week we'll see <laughs> remember to be realistic with yourself be easy on yourself and just love every part of you and i promise everything is gonna get better like this video and subscribe to my channel and let's see what's coming up next from jesse follow me on instagram at jesse milani and feel free to write me with any questions take care guys Mwah.